Hey guys, Crazy Postman here again, one more time with the Tesla CCS Adventures. As you can see, I have three of those bad boys over there now. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna go back to Frederick. We haven't been to Frederick in a, in a bit um, because it's only a 50 kW station down there. But the last time I was there, it worked successfully. And I just want to go back there and make sure it's still working. Now, on these adapters here, on uh, number two and number three, I'm running firmware version 141, which is the uh, general public release uh, for everybody. And on uh, adapter number one down there, I'm running the experimental firmware 146, I think it is. So we're going to head back to Frederick and give these a try and make sure they're still working like they're supposed to be. See you in a second. Here I am back in Frederick. I got a, this should be a fully factory. Uh, I shouldn't have to hook up my software. This one should just work. So we're going to go ahead and give it a try. It should work the first time, no problem. This one's completely factory. I don't have any special software on it. It's just the latest public firmware and it's supposed to just work. So let's give it a go. Work the first time, no problems. Put it in. It's telling me to swipe my card. Authorizing payment. This should just work. Right, here we go. It's that easy. And um, for my pack voltage, uh, 45 kW is full power. So, test successful with the fully factory version. Let's, um, we'll go ahead and stop this session. And I'll get the other fully factory version and we'll try it out too. So, this is the other fully factory uh, CCS. This is the number two, and this should just fire right up. Okay, it's in. Swiping my card, and this one's just gonna work perfectly. <clears throat> yep, everything's clicking like it's supposed to this time. I heard the car clunk behind me, and yep, this adapter is giving me pretty much as much as it can give me, 41 kW. So we know version 141, the full, fully factory CCS connector will work at this specific 50 kW BTC station. So now I have the experimental adapter. This has firmware version 146 on it. So we're gonna give this one a go. It should still work. With this one, we are gonna use the uh, software. So let me go ahead and... stretch this bad boy over here. Need some more slack. All right. All right. It's in the car. The monitoring software is plugged in. Okay. I'm going to go start it now. Okay. Authorizing payment. This is gonna work, Duck. This is gonna work. All right. So things are happening. 
Yep. Things are clicking. This blue light is flashing blue, and now it's flashing green. So, these 50 kW stations seem to work just fine. It's just those dadgum high powered 350 or 250 kW stations, whatever they are. Those are the ones that are the problem. These uh, model number LS, L3S450, these seem to work every time. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, stop that. We got 45 kW again on the third adapter. So I think we're done here. Alright guys, I'm back for a bonus round because I forgot to save the computer data. I got all excited that it worked and I forgot to save it. So, we are going to do this again one more time. Okay, the adapter is plugged in. Here we go. Uh oh. Let me go get this. Uh... Okay, here we go. I'm going to start the station. There we go, it started. Computer is doing computer things. It looks like it's recording fine. It says it's waiting right now. Oh, things are happening. I heard a click. I heard two or three clicks. All right, it's charging. All right, so that's all I need. So I'm gonna go ahead and shut her down. And this time I'm gonna save this log so I don't screw myself again. All right guys, so I think we're done here. All three adapters worked the first time. The experimental firmware and the two factory firmwares all just fine here at this 50 kW BTC station. So I'm going to get back on the road and go home and I will see y'all in the next one. Thanks for watching.